Cincinnati Bearcats football has been coming to higher ground for 26 preseasons dating back to 1999. On average, these sessions have been two weeks, thus most four-year players have spent eight weeks of their lives driving across the Indiana line to the retreat beyond the cornfields. Some have spent more. Former quarterback Tony Pike visited six times thanks to a gray shirt and red shirt. Now, thanks to the bonus year added for the COVID year 2020, defensive lineman Eric Phillips is about to enter the Pike zone. It's my six year in higher ground. Six year in higher ground. Now you're out of eligibility, right? Yes, sir. This is, this is it. My last it's one. be bittersweet, you know. <laughs> it's going to be bittersweet here, man. Been six years and yeah, I'm going to be a little, little emotional. Higher ground made me bond with a lot of my teammates, old teammates, new teammates. So this, this is what higher ground is for, for our team to be able to come together and, and um, get to really know each other more and, 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 and be able to you know, do stuff with the players, and yeah, that's definitely, I'm definitely more wiser, more, the game is more slower to me now, and yeah, definitely, you know, my sixth year. Yeah, yeah, we still, we, we got a, we got a good, we got a good group of D-linemen, especially our young guys, you know, our young guys came a long way, and you know, our young guys actually be out there with the ones, and actually getting tackled for losses and sacks, and, and the guys behind me, they all do a good job at doing what they're supposed to do, and doing their job, and, and, and and competing, you know, this D line. We got so many good D line. Even though with them guys out, we still got guys competing for a spot. So even me, you know, I still got to compete for a spot, and that's what we're doing right now. But I trust my guys. One that could also reach this honor if he comes back next year is center Gavin Gerhardt. Plus, his high school team in Xenia came two seasons, so he's actually at seven total appearances. You can almost get mail here, can you? Because you've been here so long. Yeah, so it's the seventh year I've been here because I went here two years in high school, my junior and senior year. Um, fifth year here from, you know, as part of UC. Get out of here, Rob. Um, but, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed my time out here. It's, it's, I'm grown, I've grown uh, very fond of uh, higher ground, and I, I really appreciate this place, and I, I really enjoy it. Um, I got one more year after this if I, if I, you know, choose to use it. And I think I've had, the, for the last two years, I've had the same exact room. Um, at the lodge, so I'm literally in the same room. I challenged. We had we had a, a player led meeting, and I and I got up in front of the team and talked to him, and I said, um, I challenged everybody to sit with somebody different at lunch, and I and I even challenged myself to do that because you know last year I sat with O line, and that's who I sat with. This year I'm sitting with DBs, having conversations I normally wouldn't ever have with them, um, learning things about them that I never thought I would know. Um, you know, but it, it's it's really good for us out here. And although it's just his second visit, tight end Joey Belgian gets a veteran shout-out. Thanks to an injury in the COVID year, Belgian is in his seventh year of college football. I was here, but I was over on the pit over there just doing infinite amount of curls and suicides. So it was a, I got to experience it, but I didn't really get to experience it with the football aspect of things. It can be gone in an instant. You know, I played six years straight. You know, I started taking it for granted, not taking it for granted, but like, oh, I got practice and then flash forward or fast forward and tear my ACL and I wish I was out there practicing. You know, it was super frustrating, but it taught me to be patient and, you know, everything happens for a reason. I'm a firm believer in that. The team's a lot closer together. Um, I think everybody's well meshed with the offense and defense. You go in our dining room and you got specialists sitting with DBs, you got tight ends sitting with D linemen. You know, like last year it was kind of all separate and everybody was doing their own thing. At higher ground with some Bearcat old coots, Scott Springer for Cincinnati.com.